This video reviews the retinal causes of sudden vision loss. The objectives of this video are to understand the organization of the retina first, to review the clinical approach to examining the retina, and finally, to learn major causes of sudden vision loss localizing to the retina. Shown here is a relatively macroscopic view of the eye with the cornea, the clear window, the sclera, the white part of the eye, and the iris, the colored part of the eye, all visible externally when one examines the eye in a patient. Behind it, these structures are the critical structures of the lens, which is immediately posterior to the pupil, the vitreous cavity, which is full of jelly and in front of the retina, and then the retina, which lines the inside of the eyeball and provides the tissue that senses light. When examining the retina through the pupil, one will see the different structures illustrated in this artist's rendition. The white circle to the right represents the optic nerve. The darker circle to the left represents the fovea, or the central aspect of the retina that is used when focusing on something directly. The blood vessels are shown in blue and red and supply the inner aspects of the retina. Shown here is a histological cross-section of the retina with the inner aspect of the retina or the part that is closest to the inside of the eye being at the top of the image and the outer aspect of the retina being near the bottom. The photoreceptors labeled by P are near the bottom and essentially in the deepest layers of the retina. The star at the bottom of the image denotes the choroid or a plexus of blood vessels between the retina and the sclera that supply the outer aspects of the retina, such as the photoreceptors and the layers immediately above it. The retinal blood vessels that we saw in the previous image supply the inner aspect of the retina or the top of this image. Examining the retina can be quite difficult, but is done with the direct ophthalmoscope as shown by the provider peering into the pupil of the right eye of the patient. Ideally, she will see the optic nerve, which is shown to the right in this fundus image, and the fovea, which is the darker spot in the center of the image. She would also see some of the blood vessels that course through the retina. An examination of these structures is critical to understand if they appear normal. However, this task is quite difficult because the field of view is small. With practice, however, one can get quite facile with the direct ophthalmoscope and evaluate these structures for sudden causes of vision loss. Let's take case one. Imagine that your grandfather suddenly reports that he cannot see the clock. He reports that the center of the clock is missing but the periphery is still present. Age-related macular degeneration is a retinal form of sudden vision loss. The vision loss from this disease may be progressive and slow in the dry form, but can be sudden in the wet form. When one looks with direct ophthalmoscopy at the retina, one will see yellow deposition within the center of the retina near the fovea. This yellow deposition represents lipofuscin and the dry form of the disease. However, this can convert to the wet form of the disease where fluid and blood are leaked into the subretinal space causing disruption of the photoreceptors. This will lead to central vision blurring or waviness all of a sudden, similar to what the grandfather is reporting in this case. Direct ophthalmoscopy in this case may reveal intraretinal hemorrhages as shown in the image to the far right. The mechanism of vision loss in age-related macular degeneration is damage to the photoreceptors. Let's turn to a second case. An 18-year-old young man goes up for a layup in basketball and gets hit in the right eye with an elbow. He complains of sudden vision loss. Vitreous hemorrhage is a second cause of sudden vision loss. This is typically unilateral, and the vitreous hemorrhage is often related to trauma or abnormal blood vessels that are growing in the retina from diseases such as diabetes that lead to chronic ischemia. On direct ophthalmoscopy, as shown to the right, one may see blotches and blobs of blood 
that block your view to the retina. The location of these blobs of blood will affect whether central or peripheral vision is effective. And the mechanism of vision loss, at least acutely, is blockage of the retina, and more chronically may be the cause of the hemorrhage itself. In diabetes, this is related to abnormal blood vessels forming, and in trauma, this may be related to damage to the retinal structures and the retinal vasculature. Case three is a grandmother who is playing in the park with her granddaughter and notices a sudden flurry of floaters throughout her vision that block her view, followed by a curtain coming down across the view. Retinal detachment is another form of retinal vision loss. This is typically sudden and associated with flashes and floaters. Direct ophthalmoscopy may review a yellowing color of the retina, and the retina may actually be billowing within the eye, showing movements. It occurs with age, trauma, and sometimes with nearsightedness, where peripheral retinal holes can allow fluid to engage in the subretinal space and release the retina from its juxtaposition to the retinal pigment epithelium, choroid, and sclera on the inside of the eye. The vision loss occurs because separation of the retinal layers detaches it from the blood supply and the nourishment that's provided in the attached state. Case four is a 65-year-old woman with a history of controlled hypertension and diabetes who complains of sudden onset vision loss. Central retinal vein occlusion is on the differential for this scenario. The vision loss is sudden and diffuse and it is caused by a clotting of the central retinal vein. It is associated with hypertension, diabetes, and occasionally hypercoagulable states, and direct ophthalmoscopy of the retina will show diffuse hemorrhages throughout the retina, tortuosity of the vasculature that is emanating from the optic disc, which is shown to the right in this image, and a blurring of the optic disc margins. The vision loss is typically caused by the ischemia to the retina as well as the hemorrhages throughout the retina itself. Overall, we reviewed that retinal damage can cause sudden vision loss. Examination of the retina is critical as this may provide clues to understanding where the vision loss is coming from. And one should always keep age-related macular degeneration, vitreous hemorrhage, retinal detachment, and central retinal vein occlusion on the differential diagnosis of sudden vision loss.